see the wild bunch that make up our panel this evening. First up, she's an actress and celebrity Big Brother housemate who nearly made the final but just couldn't get past Frankie Dottori's semi. She made our heartbeat though. It's Trisha Penrose. <laughs> an extraordinary career in which he often likes to refer to himself as Dangerous Brian. <laughs> now, I didn't believe he was that dangerous until I saw him eat her in the catering earlier on and my goodness, he is a brave man. It's Brian Conley! <laughs> drunk and got a tits out and Carol McGriff McG McGiffin even uh, got drunk and fell on her face. Our loose woman panellist for the night has promised that she will not follow suit and she will take her duties very seriously. Oh. It's the wonderful <laughs> Sherry Hewson! <laughs> Down. No, I know I've had all that already. I'm not drunk. I'm not pissed at all. Yes! I'm all right. That's what we like. <laughs> you will fit in really well with the audience now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, last night you gave Sophie a good old fashioned heave ho. <laughs> uh, but before we sent her packing and sent her onto the train, we made sure that we got our money's worth and we followed her around just one last time. <laughs> To celebrity Big Brother. It's time to talk to the house. The housemate with the fewest votes and third to be evicted is Sophie. Pretty brutal crowd. Um, actually, I was fully uh, fully prepared for that. At the end of the day, it's pantomime. Um, are you surprised to be sat here over the other five? Actually, I'm not at all because out of all of them, I'm probably the most boring. <laughs> Go and see your friends and family. Thank you, my darling. So happy! Oh my god! And I don't have to put up with Carol anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't wait to see Rylan, actually. Okay. I like Sophie. I think, you know, she told it how it was. Exactly. But at least she's going to come onto the show. We've got on our show now, so sorry, public. She's all eyes. <laughs> Sophie! You think that they think that you're bossy. Yeah, but in comparison to Carol, I'm a beginner. Get Carol out, please. She's a two-faced, manipulative old hag. Oh, um, yeah. um, <laughs> I know what you're saying. I'm sorry. We're, no. we're, we're okay, literally we dropping right off the air as we speak. Thank you. Give it up for Sophie, everyone. Oh, well, I think I actually was quite mild about Carol in that interview. So happy to be out. Honestly, have you ever seen anyone so happy? I can't say I'm overly surprised that Sophie's been evicted. I thought it was going to be her, to be honest. I think it all went wrong when she just talked about herself all the time. Well, as Sophie would say... In your opinion, do you think you were misunderstood? Once, you know, you kind of get underneath all the darling, sweetie, bloody, bossy boots, okay. um, you see a different side to me. Oh, well, thank you, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> All I want now is Carol out and Charlotte, Mario, Lawrence being the final. Um, an amazing experience. Um, one of the best ones of my life. I loved Big Brother and thank you so much for having me. I loved every minute and I don't regret it. And thank you for having me. I'm going to go and get drunk. <laughs> Now, normally, at this point, we ask, are the right people up? But because, basically, almost all of the house is up, seven housemates are facing eviction tomorrow night, it's probably easier to talk about the ones that aren't up. So, uh, Trisha, are you surprised that Carol, Mario and Charlotte are not facing the public vote? Oh, totally not. Charlotte is just 
fantastic. Yeah. I yes. love Charlotte. She's the yes. most fun. And Mario's great as well. Those two are a great team. They'll go all the way as far as I'm concerned. But Carol, I'm a little bit surprised she wasn't up because I think she's a bit of a trouble causer. <laughs> and I'm surprised a few of the housemates <laughs> didn't nominate her. Especially Louis, I thought he might have nominated Carol. Uh, Brian, what about you? Would you like to have seen any of the three that aren't up, up? Uh, no, I'm glad. I think those three uh, have, have, you know, put a lot into the house, you know, and I just love Mario. Um, <laughs> I think he'll always be in the honest. Mario, that's my... Um... <laughs> Well, so, me, do you love Mario or Charlotte? Uh, no, Mario. <laughs> Mario. That is, you know, the, 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 the voiceover when he goes, Mario. Oh, you're Marcus <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> I thought you were being Charlotte saying Mario. <laughs> Cause they're, because know. they're both Geordies. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that as well. <laughs> I think you know where I'm coming from. Well, yeah, no, yeah, I think they've you. contributed and I like them in there and I think it's good that they're not up for eviction. OK, what about you guys? Yeah. Oh, oh Paul, no... Oh, so no yes, no, yes, no. yes! I mean, the, the biggest surprise to me, actually, is Mario. When I watch him on The Only Way is Essex, he comes over as a right bellend. But I think in the house, in the house, he actually comes over as quite a nice yeah, bloke, actually. Right. He is a genuinely yeah. nice guy. And out of all the Essex people who have gone in the house, I think he's come over the best out of all of them. Oh, he good. Yeah. Good for Mario. OK, yeah. let's talk about Carol. <laughs> 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 Sherry, you know I'm coming your way. Yes. Uh, so we saw her return to the house and she promised it's payback time. Yeah. Um, she did. Should the others be shitting themselves? Yes, basically. <laughs> the thing is, she's a Rottweiler, Car Carol. I mean, uh, I think if we have a third world war, we should send Carol in and the enemy will shit themselves because she will terrify them to death. <laughs> And I think she is. She's a proper rock fighter. She, if, she, if you cross Carol, she will get you back. And she intends to. You can see in her... I know those eyes. Yeah. And she intends to get them back. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know when we'll see it. But she'll get every single one of them. And there will be bodies buried. <laughs> <laughs> Under the patio. <laughs> Let's hope she literally doesn't go that far, but we've kind of seen that come out in her already. She's yeah. gone back into the house, and already her killer nomination was for Courtney. There was absolutely no holding back there. Um, she said, didn't she, you can't have a conversation with you unless there uh, aren't any mirrors around. Yeah, I think it was more to do with that suit, though. Yeah. I think Carol was... Yeah. And I think she was right, because that was... Yeah. I mean, I wanted to get the screen and slap it, because why wouldn't she put that suit on and she caused them all not to eat? Mm. And I think she was absolutely right to, to nominate Courtney. But what really pissed me off was when, when Carol, they couldn't see Carol, all those housemates... Uh, put her up for eviction. Every single one of them put her up yeah. for eviction. When she walked back in and they said, right, face to face, know, not have. one of them had the balls to yeah. actually nominate her, and I think is that, that showed because, cowardice. Is that because, if you don't know Carol, she possibly is intimidating? Of course she's yes. intimidating, but it's a game. Yeah. And, and, and it's a game that she likes playing. Of she's very she much into the Big Brother game. Absolutely, and Lou and her are playing the game called Big Brother. Yes. And they should get it. Everybody yeah. should get it. That's what you've got to understand. But I was so cross because they were all such cowards. They couldn't face her and tell her. Mm. And, you know, not one... I don't think even one did, did they? No, not one. Yeah. It's a very good point, actually. When, uh, when they were in that other room, they were all quite happy apart from her. one. But yeah. once she got back there, they all were scared. Oh, yeah, uh, would you like to see how her and Courtney are getting on this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. You and I both are praying for my eviction. You keep saying it, the audience, if they'll keep you in. But Ron, though, because, see, I learned it from Ron. Ron would always go up there and say, I want to leave. And then... Yeah, but I told you, the thing is, it's the age of people who... People who like Ron would be quite old, and they just don't pick up the phone and vote in these kind of shows. So, and you're young, and, you know, you were getting a lot of cheers last night. So... <sighs> I got so People many will when vote I came to keep here. you in here. Just be, even if they don't like you, they'll probably vote to keep you in because just to piss you off. <laughs> Do you think Carol's got a valid point? No. Yeah, I mean, basically, Courtney needs to put her clothes on. <laughs> needs to keep her clothes on. And that's it's... coming from what I believe is a red-blooded man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and it's just she's not opinionated. Carol tells you how it is, 
and she's not been snide in any way. If she's got something to say, she'll tell you straight. You know where you stand, mm. and that's it. Whereas Courtney's tried to like play the look at me, I'm cutesy tootsie, and teeting around on my heels that are two sizes too big. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how she walks in those heels. They are very high. Uh, let's talk about some of the other nominations tonight. So both Mario and Bruce picked Lauren because they're worried about her falling oh. over. Oh. Uh, Brian, uh, well, is she... that a valid reason? No, no, of course not. But um... being worried about her safety, maybe. I but don't believe that. I don't believe they're worried about her safety. I think they're trying to uh, sort of. <sighs> just sugarcoat that pill of saying I want to get you out but yeah, uh, but uh, the, I mean she is a comedy genius all right I think she'll have her own <laughs> comedy show at the end of this I think the likes of Mork should be in the same wording as Morecambe and Wise and things like that <laughs> I mean, just that moment when that Mario um, said no, yeah when you come back you know watch the steps she went all right yeah and then she'd come back yeah. and <laughs> You know, and it was just comedy gold. And, and for it's me, the tea when she's got the tea yeah. in the cup, she goes and just and that bit, that bit tonight it really... when she goes, I will prove to everyone that I'm tough because I can wear flat shoes. Oh, brilliant! I think it was a really valid point as well tonight, wasn't it? That Abs and uh, Vicky made, and that winning would make a difference to Lauren. Mm. Yes. Oh, everyone else in there, she they've done it or they're doing it. Lauren, it really means something to. I you. think that you know. I think this has made her life. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think she's frightened of going home. Uh. Well, she said she's been waiting to go in here for six years. I know, she's but, finally in there. But the, but the disturbing thing is, and I do find her sometimes disturbing, because I think she's very fragile. Mm. Unless that's a game. No. Unless she's playing... No. No. I don't think she is, but, you no. know, you think, is she? I don't know, I'm confused. But I think she's fragile. But I think the sad thing is, is that she's having the best time of her life and now she's got yeah. friends. Mm. But then she's got to go home. Yeah. I know, but maybe that's what's hurting her. Given her the confidence that when she does go back out, she will make some friends and have that independence, maybe. maybe. I don't think yeah. she will. I think she'll go straight back home again. I really do. I don't think the British public will let her. I think she'll be sort of... I uh, think we're going to embrace her. I think we? she's going to have so. a comedy so. series. I love her, don't I you? I just love her, Lauren. 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 I really I do. do. I do. Yeah. I just want to see her in flat she's, shoes. She's <laughs> Shoes are coming. Uh, right, still to come, I'll be discussing the latest goings on in the house with the high kicking, hair flipping psychotherapist Diane Udale. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bet on the Side. Now, do you know what I've been wondering? What? If Lauren ever got out of that brown paper bag. <laughs> uh, hello? Um, excuse me. Did I, did I win? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Keep you updated on that one. OK, now, listen to this. I'm going to come here. Right, a mysterious old wizard once told me... No, I'm not going to sit down. There's no mic, so don't talk. Uh, ..that if we all hold hands... Let's hold hands. Mine are a bit sweaty, sorry. Oh, so are yours. Um, <laughs> and, and if we blink three times, an exclusive clip will appear in a puff of smoke. Ready? One, One, two, three. Do you feel like the gang is back together? <laughs> Me and Mario last night were like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're all back together again. Our gang, our special re retrograde club is all back together. And we thought we were starting to crumble one by one. But no, we're stronger than ever. Is it just Carol, Mario and yourself in the gang? We have, a, we have an exclusive member as well who dibble-dabbles in and out. Who's that? Vicky. She's kind of like a half member. I mean, we'd be happy to have her full time, but... I don't think she could hack it. <sighs> I was trying to do one for you there, but I couldn't. Do you know, she'll follow through one day on that dining room chair. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be the one to go in and clean it up. I'm telling you right now. Uh, OK, it's time to talk psychology. And if only Freud was as fit as this lady, we might all have cared just a little bit more. It's psychotherapist and all-round good egg, Diane Udale. <laughs> We, 
we've got to start, I would imagine, with Carol's dramatic return to the house last night. Um, has she slipped straight back into that leader role in the house? Absolutely. In her words, return of the bitch. And that's what's good about Carol. She can kind of be an irony she to herself. She knows what she, she does, is, absolutely, she? And she knows what she's there to do. That's right. But she's also what we call a rapport leader. These are individuals that, no matter what grouping they go into, they always create the centre of the energy and the dynamic of the group, whether they want to or not, whether we want them to or not is another question. OK, now we saw her um, group together with Mario and Lauren in the task. Yes. Um, they went in, had a great time. Do you think that bond is going to continue now that they're back in the main house? No, no. It's, it's a possible with the five hex of hilarity rather than the four corners group. I think they're going to rebond. Okay. And unfortunately, Lauren has been on a bit of a journey and actually done a mini micro maturation uh, while being with the three, with the two of them. Because um, the mothering that happened with Carol created, I think, a big, a bit of a shift for Lauren. I think she realised a few things. So I think Lauren's going to part off, but Mario will still be definitely part of the group that we're talking about now. That's quite nice though, isn't it? Because as we were talking about earlier on, maybe Lauren feels that she can be slightly more independent. Yes, there's been, um, both for her and Courtney actually, there's been a real kind of um, a, a communication of a, what we call a parallel process. God, it's all coming out tonight, isn't it? Uh, all the technical side of it. Um, parallel process is where people go on a journey and it's quite similar. Both of them have got quite similar journeys to become the people they have become as adults mm -hmm. in the way that they've changed themselves and become what they want to be. So we're seeing in little pockets in this house, and it's quite nice for us, particularly with Lauren, little mic micro maturation processes, that's what I'm calling it. OK, let's move on to Courtney. Yeah. Um, she's gaining independence in there, which we've seen her say tonight she's kind of worrying about. Let's watch that one more time. He means so much more to me than this freaking house. And I don't want to leave this house feeling so strong and so, like, independent that I can't depend on him anymore. I don't know if you get it. I don't know if you understand because you've never... I have. I have. Oh, I, I've been in love. But you never really experienced a man who, like, loves you and wants to be with you forever and wants to take care of you forever and won't let go, but that's... won't let go. And I don't ever want him to let go. I'm only 19 and I'm trying to balance everything. So what do you see happening there? Oh, I, think, I think everyone's gut sort of tells them um, there with that. She, like Lauren, is going through a mini kind of what we call an individuation process. She's becoming an individual because she's gone from 16 to now and only ever having been married in the adult world. Mm. So she's having a little sense of this little mini growth of what would be three weeks of independence and she's liking the taste of it. But all relationships fare better when two individuals are kind of fully, you know, independent and within themselves and they simply subset and make a good relationship. Yeah. Some relationships can be codependent and I think for both characters there may have been a lot of that in their life previously. So that it must be a worry for her then, be, as we've said, she's all, kind of always been with her husband, yeah. now she's got independence and she's going to go back to her husband, still wants that independence but wants him to know that she still wants him. And at 19, that's probably a lot to take on board. It is, and my sense is that it, it'll work regardless yeah. because we're talking about two adults, you know, in the world. And we've all... You know, the Big, the, the big Brother house will always create a massive shift in someone's life. No-one is the same. Trisha will probably side with me on this once you come out on the other side. It's a life-changing experience. And, you know, people will, will not expect any different from Courtney. OK, let's move on to um, Dustin and Abs, two of the quieter housemates. Mm -hmm. um, yet they've both spoken up for Courtney yes. um, in tonight's show. Um, will we see a little mini group form here with these three, do you think? Possibly now. Now Courtney's found her feet that she can talk deep amongst two people. I call them the two soulful boys. They're not afraid to do deep. There's lots mm. of other housemates going, oh, don't want to do that. Let's just keep the performing up. They're very happy to up. talk about their emotions. And... Yes. And because she's now found the space to be able to do it with two people who have the patience to listen, it may be that she'll go there a little bit more during this next week. And we'll get more of that. Um, Dustin has had quite a hard... 24 to 48 hours. 
Um, he was, he's really not been happy in tonight's show, has he? Um, is this a midway slump? Yeah. What, what do you think is going on with him? A little bit of that, but also him recognising he's not that popular within the house, um, unfortunately, because he is genuinely a nice guy, but he hasn't quite got the, the colour of the rest of the housemates. And for me, someone coming from Hollywood with his pre pedigree, it kind of it, it seems odd that he's so grounded and so incredibly normal, uh, yeah. you know, at times. Uh, someone else who seems really grounded and really normal and who we don't talk about very much in this section because... He seems quite grounded and normal, and that's Mario. Um, he's escaped nomination again this week. So, what do you think he's doing so right? Oh, I call him the dark horse. Where's Wally? And he's not a Wally at all. A Wally, he most certainly isn't. He he seems to just appear everywhere where there is a centre of something going on. Every, he's got this like invisible antenna. He's a phenomena that seems to know exactly where the hot stuff's going on in the house. He'll just appear, and he'll just appear. And, and, he, and what he does is in the heart of it, but he's not at the heart of mm. it. And that's a very clever thing to do. He has a natural instinct for it. But what's really interesting is he sort of slips beneath the parapet all the time. He'll drop little bits of hope and wisdom in, yeah. but never be at risk to himself. I think because he comes from a genuinely good heart and, you know, he looks great and the girls will love him, um, it's, it's a real dark horse there for him. He could be onto a winner. Is he always in it, do you think, because a majority of time what is happening in the house is, is to do with Carol and to do with Charlotte and they are the little triangle of yeah. friends, aren't they? So is he, is he maybe someone who keeps that slightly calm? You know, if Carol's about to explode, will Mario be the one who can kind of bring her back to a simmer. Yes, he's a lovely placator. He's got that lovely energy about him. And we, we're seeing that as well, and it is quite nice to see again, in contrast with all the other bits of colour and glitz that goes on in this house. OK, Diane, thank you very much. Thank Diane, you. you tell everybody. <laughs> Celebrities out like nobody's business. So who is your fave and who do you want to save? Here are those all important numbers. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side. I tell you what, right, I've been in this studio all day and I am really missing a lightly toasted slice of Parisian bread topped with pastrami, Peruvian truffle and wilted spinach picked from the mountains of Fiji, all served by a friendly unicorn. You know, it's the simple things that you miss. OK, in the phone room, <laughs> that's where I am. And there are people to talk to. Who's on line one? Uh, Lynn from Northern Ireland. Lynn! Hello, Emma. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. What would you like to talk about? Well, uh, Courtney. Yes. I would love to talk about Courtney. OK. Oh, gosh, I just wish that girl would cover up more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she was so scantily dressed and she was making a comment I think it w I'm not quite sure who it was now too but in America someone had well there was several she said on savory production companies contacting her right um, now she's a very attractive wee girl she was even very attractive in the boiler suit <laughs> she was so cute in that boiler suit and the hairnet she, I thought she was yeah, so very attractive. Yeah, she was lovely. But apparently, so, she said this: what she's wearing in the house, those little bikinis, that's a lot for her, apparently. Oh, gosh. Well, she did say that she didn't wear anything at home. Yes, exactly. At home is, at home is fine. Yeah. But whenever she goes out in the public eye, yeah. so scantily dressed... I think maybe does. her body um, is her is her confidence and her comfort blanket, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I'm with maybe. you. I'd love to see her wearing, like, even a cute little pair of shorts and a T-shirt. Yes, it would be lovely. Yeah. Also, I just wonder, too, how genuine her friendship is with Lauren. Oh, gosh, I just love Lauren. Yeah. Um, Sophie made a comment that she was going to take Lauren shopping. Yeah. Now, I wonder, would Lauren do... Would Courtney do the same for her? Well, let's ask her when she comes out. Yeah. Lynn, thank yeah. you very much for calling. OK, Emma, thank you. Thank you. Who's on line two? We've got Joycey from Stepney Green. Joycey? Hello, Emma. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, darling. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Are you all right? I'm wonderful. Are you? I'm, I'm good. I, my, fa my, fa my family didn't, didn't, didn't believe it was me, so they've all come round and we're all so in the So they're all garden. there now? They're in the garden. Oh, good. What do you want to talk about tonight? 
Oh, I, I just wanted to, to talk about the husband um, of Courtney's husband coming in. Oh, yes. In. Don't. Um, I, I thought it was very, very nice of you. Oh, good. And we I, try. I, I thought it was it was very nice of you, and I'd also wanted to say that I thought your 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 hair looked beautiful last oh. night. Oh, thank you, Joyce. And you, you always I said it last last time we spoke, and yeah. the people from um, Big Brother uh, rung, rung me today, and, and and said I could speak to you again. Oh, good. I'm glad. That's really nice because we like and, having you on the show. And I like. And it's it's lovely because I've got my grand my two grandsons are here with me now. And what are their names? This I've got Tom and I've got Marcus. Hello, Tom and Marcus. She said hello. She said hello, <laughs> Marcus. They said hello. They said hello back. Uh, Joycey, thank you for being no, on the phone with us tonight. You. And if I don't get to to speak to you before you you go home, I just want to say thank you, everybody. Oh, for, thank for, you. For letting me call in and say hello to you. No worries. Thank and you. And you look absolutely beautiful. You've been an absolute there. treasure, Joycey. Thank you very Bless much. Bless you. Be lucky. And you, bye. Shut up, Shut up. Shut up. <gasps> I love Joycey. <laughs> Getting totes and moes. Uh, I don't know what's happening. AJ's back in here tomorrow. Is that what's happening? She's with... She's with the latest of Vic D's. It's going to be two of them, don't forget. Uh, so if you want to get in touch, all the details are on the screen now. Uh, OK, every week on Bit on the Side, we like to grill the nominees in the diary room uh, with groundbreaking questions, really hard-hitting questions. In fact, questions that would make politicians shit themselves. So for your viewing pleasure, please enjoy. Hello, celebrities. Hello. Hello. The viewers of Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side have one question for each of you as you're all nominated for eviction this week. Courtney. Yes. Who would you name for prom king or queen of the house? Oh my gosh. I would name prom queen to Lauren. Way to go! Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh my Courtney. God. Go Courtney. Abs. If you could reinvent five, with four other members of the house, who would you choose to join you and why? Come on. I'd choose Bruce, because he's naturally got, got flows. I'd choose... I'd have Lauren, because she brings that style and finesse that we need. I'd have Louis, because he's got the dance moves. And, uh... Whew. And probably Mario, because he's got the looks. Bruce, who has made you laugh the most in the house? I'd say Dustin. And Louis as well. Louis made me laugh. He doesn't know it, but he has. Lauren, who do you think most needs a makeover in the house? You can all say yourself, Lauren. Yeah. Um, I can't say myself, no. Okay. You could do with a makeover. <laughs> you could do with some pampering now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lauren, let's do pampers day tomorrow. I'm in your hands. Okay, then. What the hell have I agreed to? Louis. Yes. If you could describe your fellow housemates as a style of dance, what would they be and why? I would say maybe at the moment a bit of a waltz because they're all a bit slow and boring. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky. Yeah. As you tackle more theatre work after Cory, will you take Louis' advice and work on your stage whispers? <sighs> um, do you know, I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin. Who in the house do you think would have made a great character in Saved by the Bell and why? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren. Lauren. Because because Screech would have Screech would have needed a fellow Screech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, a Screech. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That concludes the questions from Celebrity Big Brother's Bit in the Side viewers. You are free to go to the Thank house. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. one but two of our celebrity housemates tomorrow but who do our panel and audience want to go in the interest of fairness each nominee will get 45 seconds of debate when we hear this noise <coughs> time's up and we'll move on to the next housemate so first up is courtney let's start the clock uh trisha she said she wants to leave do you believe her 
No, I don't believe her at all. Nobody wants to leave. When you go in that house, you want to be there till the end. It's hard, so you think you don't give up after two weeks. She's saying it for attention. Do you want to see her go? Yes. 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 <laughs> don't shout and then look scared of me. I think she should go because uh, she didn't um, wear the boiler suit yesterday and that, for me, working as a team, she got to see her husband, but then she, she wouldn't put Do the boiler suit on. Do you believe the excuse that she used to uh, Lauren that she thought... Did you see that when she said uh, she thought that if she wore the boiler suit that they'd no, have to nominate that. someone in the house? No, no, no. no, 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 no. You weren't buying it. Love it. Um, no, because she'd done that before with Laura, didn't she? When uh, she said, I've given you the bed so that you yeah. can have the bed for the night. And yeah. Lauren's like going... <laughs> Very good at instantly being quiet. OK, let's move on to Dustin. Let's start the clock. Um, OK, so he stands up for what he believes in. Sherry, is that the kind of thing we want to see in the house? We want that in a house, mate? I think Dustin is very boring. Yeah. I think he... I don't think... He, uh, if he has a personality, then he hasn't shown it. And I think we've forgotten him. And the reason he hasn't been up before is because we go... Uh, oh, Dustin, and we've just forgotten who he is. I think, unfortunately for him, I don't think we remember. Mm. Trisha, do you think he brings anything to the house? No, he's too intense. He needs to enjoy himself. You know, it's it's t it's time to shine now. He's, I think he's getting on everyone's nerves in there. Yeah. To get on mine, definitely. And I think the longer he's been in there, the greyer he has become, yeah. quite literally. <laughs> you've seen his hair and his beard, so but he's turning into that as well, you know. <laughs> Let's start the clock. Will Aww. the five fans save yes. abs? Yes. 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 Definitely. Like Look, I was a massive five fan. There's so many five fans, and the big group. Oh, I'm allowed to say that. The show's on. <laughs> Everyone's going to be calling up. He's not the best housemate, but he's got the fan base, and that's going to help him. He might be doing the Sam. He might Sam, be doing Sam. Sam was quiet for think? the first few weeks, and he came through at the end. You never know. Uh, yeah. Trisha, do you think anybody mm. in the house will miss him if he goes? Not really, no. He just doesn't seem to want to get into conversations, does he? I mean, I know um, the lovely Charlotte's been trying to make a, you know, make a yeah. go with it, but he's just not, not interested. He keeps walking away, so... Um, he's kind of come, become close with Dustin. Uh, Brian, is this going to be a bromance, do you think? <laughs> well, it's going to be a very boring bromance, isn't it, you know? <laughs> oh, I wanted to say I like Habs. <laughs> Sherry got that one in. Um, OK, let's move on to Bruce. Let's start the clock. OK, it's the second time that he's been up in a row. What's he doing wrong? Nothing. He's just grumpy. He's like an old... Well, he's an old man, but, I mean, like, he fits the stereotype. There's nothing the wrong with old men. No! There is nothing wrong with them! In his defence, I have to say, both times that he's had a little go, has it been, a, 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 you know, a... What am I trying to say? You know, a valid uh, reason. Uh, yeah, valid reason. You yeah. know, it's been disturbing his sleep. They've come in. Are we talking about Bruce? Here? Yeah, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bruce is lovely. He's a lovely guy, and you're not seeing the best side. Well, I've got to say, you're he's not. Lovely, but he is. But he is. His he's aggression tired. has come over, and yeah. I don't agree with that he's at hungry. all. He wants his ciggies. I don't care. Hungry and tired. I'm sorry. Oh, it's yeah. been there yeah. three it's weeks. Oh, for God's sake. You say. tried doing. Didn't even need to ask anything. Then they are just going at it with each other. Next up is Lauren. Let's start the clock. Uh, OK, so her relationship with Courtney seems to be back on track. Do we want to see these two split up or do we want to see them...? I don't think Courtney is genuine at all. I don't, really? Yeah, not at all. I don't think she has her best interest at heart at all. I think she's playing the biggest game in the house, to be honest with you. Oh, interesting. What do we think about that? Oh, because well, you see, I, I did it? say I wondered whether she was playing a game. But the thing is, I love Lauren. I think she's got every chance of winning. Mm -hmm. And I think she's got the whole country behind her. I, I do think she's very fragile. And I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, she f feels to me as if she falls over, she's going to break. Mm. Brian, and just can me. she be crowned the winner this year? Uh, uh, Lauren? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, OK, Louis Spence. Whoa. Let's start the clock. <gasps> OK, so one of the biggest complaints about him are his mood swings. <laughs> Trisha, can someone's mood really affect the house that much? Just one person's mood? Yes, oh. definitely. Really? It's very, very intense in there. It's so small and you can't get away from anybody. And I think I like Louis at the start, but he started really getting on my nerves now. He's like, he is yeah. moody and he's bitchy. I can't stand that bitchiness yeah. and he's... 
He's got, he's got to be the centre of attention all the time with his dance moves and everybody's got to watch Louis when he does his moves. And... But can I say that the day he had that little time with Lauren, yeah. I don't know if you remember that, on the stairs, yeah. Yeah. he was wonderful with yeah. her. Yeah. And mm. that showed the real Louis. What you're not seeing is the real Louis all the time. So are we seeing the performance, Louis? I think you're I seeing think the performance. So. But when he, when he was with Lauren that day, I thought he was lovely and I really warmed to him much more. Sherry doesn't know when to start when the buzz goes. No, uh, and finally, <laughs> finally, uh, <laughs> Let's talk about Vicky. Let's start the clock. Um, now, she's spent so much time kind of worrying about Bruce. Do you think, Trisha, that, that this could maybe go against her? Should she have been concentrating Slightly more on do, herself? Yeah. Vicky's my friend. I've known Vicky for yeah. years. And she isn't... You've not seen the best of Vicky, I've got to say. She's such a funny lady. And she, what you see is what you get with Vicky. And she she's says it. She says it how it is. As well. I tell you. She is. I think what's very clever with Vicky, and she never gets embroiled in anything. No. And I think you notice it tonight when Abs and Courtney, and she could just sense something was kicking off, and she yeah. just, oh, she went. And I think that's really subtle. And I think she's playing a wonderful game. I think, game. unfortunately, when she first went in, I think she she got people's backs up. You know, when she very first went in for some reason. But well, I, I think, think she's she had warned. That row with Louis, didn't she? And then she. Yeah. Got <laughs> Very quickly, down the panel, which two do you think should go, Sherry? Should go? Yeah. Uh, Bruce and um, uh, Dustin. Yeah. Trish? Yeah. Definitely Dustin. Uh, I'd, I hate to say it, but Bruce. Mm. I think Bruce yeah. is going to go. Uh, I'm going to agree, Bruce and Dustin, yes. Yeah. Audience? Yeah. Not agreeing? Dustin and Courtney have got to go. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that is your lot. Horrible uh, Shut up! Um, still to come, all the news from the house, plus Brian and Sherry, they're going to be reporting all the latest from the reality gallery. You wouldn't want to go anywhere, would you, you silly little sausages? <laughs> Emma Willis. Oh, my God, how do you know my name? I'm Psychic Susan. I can see something coming into your future. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. And it's going to tell you all the latest goings-on in the house. <gasps> It's called The New. Ah! That's a Incredible. Who would have thought that the news would be in this part of the show? High five me. Good work. That cost 20 quid, sweetheart. Fuck off. <laughs> Here's today's news. At 10.07 this morning, Vicky was getting nervous about appearing on everybody's favourite Big Brother spin-off show. I'm a bit worried about Bit on the Side. Why? I don't know. It's a piece of piss, isn't it, Louis? Have you done it? It's no, I've never fun. bothered. Oh, I... no, it's, Is it? it's Carol. I've done it loads of times. It goes so fast. Yeah, it's... but if they hate you, they say so, don't oh, they? Oh, fuck them. Nah. They, have, they have strange people sometimes on the panel, don't strange they? Strange people. Look who you've been fucking living with. You can fucking yeah, deal no. with us, darling. You'll not be bothered by the time you get out. You'll just be buzzing to be out. You'll be like, oh, so fuck, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And Ryland's cute. He's funny, isn't he? I can't believe she said we've got strange guests. Do you not know we can't afford Bodger and Badger anymore? Uh, at 2.28 this afternoon, housemates were indulging in the most beautiful, intimate and sensual type of dance that there is. Slut dropping. I did a slut Tricks. drop when Abs Tricks. was doing his song, Charlotte. Did you? Yeah. And all my room told us. Slut drop in what's the overalls. What's a slut drop? Show oh, her. like yeah, a... Yeah, 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 like a... Show a pole. me, Charlotte, what a slut drop well, You've is. got to do the proper... Right, so I'll do it with Louis, cos I know that he'd give a good demonstration. Go on. So, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to be the, um, the... the narrator of the story. So, you're in the club. You're dancing. You're getting your... <laughs> I don't know what I can do it. You're in the club. You're dancing, you're getting your groove on, you're with your friends, you've had a few drinks, you're horny. You see someone and you think, wow, he is fit. I want to go home with him tonight. And then you think, I've got to get him, I've got to get him. So then you just do it. Slut drop! <laughs> and there, he's coming straight over to you. He wants some. <laughs> as much as the next girl, but uh, I'm host of the main show now, so I'm afraid my slot dropping days are behind me. I don't care. 
I'm actually not doing it. You can take that fucking camera four away. I'll stay on camera three. That's it. Uh, and finally, at 2.40 this afternoon, Vicky... Don't shake your head at me. Uh, go home if you want to see that sort of thing. Uh, Vicky surprised Courtney with a bit of self-improvement. Oh, my God, Vicky. <laughs> Would it would it be all right that? <laughs> yeah, but you gotta like you gotta pull up your top because you can see through it. You pull your top up a little bit. Vicky. Pull it. What do you mean? No, Vicky, you've got to do that. What? There. <laughs> what do you mean you can see through them? You can. You gotta make them more real. Here. You can't see side, can you? Yeah, you can. We like this. <gasps> oh. Oh, I see what you mean. See, because you can see. Oh, that's good. This one looks. I had muscle cellar should... today. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. Oh, look at you. oh maybe Kirk. I should tie that tighter. Yeah, do you want to tie it? That's it. <sighs> Perfect. Oh, that's better. There you go, babe. Tell you what, though, it hurts. Well, I bet you got hard to rock to your Gooey, gooey. Gooey, gooey. Right, I'm going to show Charlotte my monologue, babe. Courtney giving advice on how to make your boobs look more real is like Charlotte giving advice on bladder control. <laughs> News done. I love those little gags. Um, OK, Brian and Sherry should be up in the reality gallery. Oh, look at the two of you. You look like a wonderful little picture. Oh. Thank you very much. What's Thank happening? You. <laughs> right, first off, what's this, Brian? It's a puppy. <laughs> anyway, less of that. Right. right. I'm up first, yeah? Yes, you okay. are. <clears throat> Some of the housemates have been comparing their vacuum cleaners. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, how interesting is that? Yeah. Is it my go? Yes. Come right, on. OK, I've got to borrow her glasses. Got to swash. Oh. I've only got one pair. Mario and Abs have been the creative ones in the house today, fashioning their very own bowling alley. Let's hope they don't decide to strike. Oh! Communal oh. glasses. I love Ready? that you glasses swapping. Louis has a little paddy as he waits to go to the diary room. Oh. But BB called Charlotte in first, where she said... I feel wound up like a coil. Something has been winding me up and I need to get Ew, it off my... Uh, who's that? Is Charlotte suddenly that... a farmer? Oh, no, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I don't really know about that. <laughs> Was that not Geordie? No. no. Oh. Sounded like someone being ill. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. And Bruce and Abs played catch in the garden. Again. <laughs> so oh, did I say that already? No. No. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. No. Right, me. Um, Lauren offered Vicky yet another makeover. Vicky got rather worried, and I don't blame her. Did she this... go ahead with it? Did she go ahead with it? Uh, no. No. Oh, OK. Uh, cool. One last one, Brian. Oh, well, this oh, is okay. the classic, please. Courtney got a bit fed up with her chatting to the housemates and thought it would be more interesting to stare at her own urine, which she did. On that note, we'll leave you, Brian. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got about 30 seconds. Great. Hit me with as much as you've got. OK, um, if you'd like to go to the website, which is channel5.com forward slash big brother, yes. you can see Ryland's ridiculous replay. Complete with a ridiculous bit of, yeah, a little bit of twerking as well, if that's what you're into. Okay. Um, you can also relive the wonderful slut drop tutorial that Charlotte gave us earlier. Good. And I can reveal that Lauren actually did get to make over Vicky in the end, so we'll have a video up of that shortly. Okay. This is your debut. <laughs> Hello. In digital. <laughs> this is Becca. You were wonderful. Thank no you. No nervousness. You delivered lovely. You can come back again. Oh. Um, OK, that is your lot tonight. AJ and Ryan will be back tomorrow with the next two celebrity evictees. They'll also be joined by Vanessa Feltz, Cheryl Ferguson and a very special star-studded performance. Very secret as well. Night-night. Yeah.